PJ. Hey. Halloween Hustle still going? Yes, it is. Welcome um, to November, motherfuckers. Yeah. Well, we already technically were in November. Ah. Whatever. Yeah. Well, PJ. Yes. Let's see what we got. We got horror movie classic. Okay. A new horror movie that came out recently. Okay. Another new horror movie that came out not that long ago. Okay. And something that, oh boy. <laughs> okay. Well, it's gonna be it's gonna be weird. You're probably not gonna like it. Okay. But I like it. So okay. It's one of those cult classic. I don't even know if it's a cult. Yes, I'll yes. say yes. Okay. Fuck it, I'll say cult classic. Let's see here. All right. Oh, oh, oh! You're not in the back. There you go. Find, Find the, the hole. hole. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's. I'm not lucky. Let's anymore. hold on. See, I feel like getting bad vibes from this one. Let's just go this one. <laughs> Fuck. That was it. Okay. There is no other person who could have known where it was. Did Bobby give you this? Or is there someone new? Your Laura disappeared. It's just me now. You made me write it all down. Don't do that. She doesn't like that. How do you know what she likes? Just like my Laura. It's your Don't make me do this! Out of all everyone. Two hours, PJ, you about to be here for it. Oh, shit. What is this? I love, this movie is based off a TV show okay. by a director that I fucks with. Okay. It's known for making shit that people don't understand. Recently did a James Bond little recast episode with everything I learned from movies, and I picked him as the director of my James Bond movie, and nobody wanted it. Oh. <laughs> oh. But, PJ. Yeah. David, Shake it out, David Lynch is a name you about to be familiar with. Okay. Because we're going to watch Twin Peaks Fire Walk with Me. Mm -hmm. I've talked about Twin Peaks a lot yes. on the podcast, and you about to find out. Now, PJ, Twin Peaks is known for being weird and hard to understand. What is it along the lines of? Is it a mix between like Lord of with the Rings? Twin Peaks? No, no, no. It's <sighs> Twin Peaks is a. It's like a. Weird X Files, weird, hard to understand version of X Files. X Files took inspiration, I think, from Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks is a detective because de this is based off the TV. This is supposed to be a prequel to the TV show. Yes, but it's also at the same time a sequel of sorts to the TV show. So it's a prequel and a sequel. It's a se prequel with sequel elements. Okay. And David Lynch is known from known for making weird shit that none you either don't understand or he purposely doesn't want you to understand. So there's gonna be shit you're gonna What's ask the me. Point of the fucking movie. You're gonna ask me shit like that, and I'm gonna be like, "Don't know." I don't know. <laughs> okay. Because the, the and this is weirder than the TV show. The thing about the TV show is that he had limits. Like they had limiters on that motherfucker. Like you are not gonna make this shit super weird. Mm -hmm. Be like, "No, now this is my movie. <laughs> my movie. This is me." <laughs> okay. And so, Fuck. so yeah. I, the basic premise though: a, a girl gets murdered in Twin Peaks, and a detective goes to investigate. And the whole town is weird, full of secrets, and that type of shit. That's what it is. I will spoil the fuck out of Twin Peaks for you during the episode because I know you'll probably never watch it. Okay. But, yeah. Okay. Woo! What could I? Have I'll tell you this too. This movie's like two hours long, and 
David Lynch does so much shit that there's a deleted and alternate scenes they make they put together into a little mini movie because it's an hour and a half of deleted footage. This movie was almost three and a half what hours, I think. Fuck. <laughs> keep that this shit is, rolling. I don't have the I got the collector set with the, all the episodes in the movie, but this is actually a Criterion movie too. I just don't have the Criterion version because I have that. Wow. Version. So yeah. Okay. And PJ, you didn't pick Fender Bender. Don't it's a little slasher movie from a couple years ago. The thing I love about this movie, though, is that they made a VHS filter type thing for it. Ah, So it's like okay. watching an old VHS. And they, even had, they made like an old HBO style intro for it and everything. That's, That's the only way I've ever watched that movie. Okay. Uh, I've seen that. It. I have seen that. Okay. Um, Nathan got lucky because it's an ongoing argument with me and Nathan from the What Were They Thinking podcast that this movie is better than Suicide Squad. Never seen Suicide Squad. Good. And PJ, yes. to the heartbreak of many fans, The Evil Dead. Uh, Another movie I've talked about many yes, times that you have and never I still seen. still have not seen, yes. Well, it don't matter though, because we about to get in the car, head to Twin Peaks. Oh boy. And this is going to be a fun episode because, yeah, PJ's never seen. I'm calling it for this. The movie may not be that popular, but the TV show is popular enough to where this is a PJ's never seen and the first David Lynch movie. Mm. Let's see how this go. Number 14. Whoo! I'm not ready. I love that it's the missing peaches and special feature. It's just one. Oh. Like motherfucker, oh. you got an hour and a half <laughs> of this shit. Well, you know there's a there's another disc with all the bonus features on it too. Oh my gosh. So oh, yeah, okay. Twin Peaks. Come back Friday, hear PJ fucking complain, I'm sure. And hear me be, hear me do this a lot. Uh, maybe. Sure. Okay. Peace. Peace.